Another kind of notation that works really well for fretted instruments, uh, most specifically the guitar and the banjo, uh, is called tablature. There are two different kinds of, of tablature, but they work the same way. Uh, it goes all the way back to the 16th century uh, to composers, uh, famous lute composers like John Doland, uh, who used a tablature notation. And here's an example. What you're seeing here is uh, an example of, this happens to be from the 17th century. It's a piece by John Doland. Uh, the top line uh, is for a vocalist. So there are, there's text, and there's actually note shapes that indicate rhythm. Uh, so that would be a five-line staff uh, that the singer is working from. The bottom system is the tablature notation for the lute. Uh, and there are six lines, one for each string. In this case, the, the lute has six strings. And uh, the rhythm here is indicated by stems and flags. And it's also lined up with what the singer is singing. So in this case, in, in this tablature, rhythm is shown uh, lined up to what the singer is singing. This is an example of banjo tablature. And here you can see there is a treble clef and the notes are indicated as you would play it uh, on any other instrument, just in, in, uh, with note heads and stems. So notes and rhythms are indicated. But the bottom system uh, is banjo tablature. And again, the rhythm is notated. Uh, and you can see the numbers correspond to, uh, to frets. And you can see in the middle, this is typical for banjo tablature too, it tells you uh, for your right hand what finger you're going to play with. So T is for the uh, thumb, I is for index, and M is for the middle finger. Here's a diagram that shows a little more detail about banjo tablature. Again, the T, I, and M for thumb, index, and middle finger tells you exactly which finger on your right hand to play with. The lines represent the strings on the banjo. So the top line is the first string all the way to the bottom line, which is the fifth string. The numbers sometimes on top of the staff notation, of the tablature notation, that indicates which uh, left hand uh, fingers to, uh, to place on the frets below. Zeros typically indicate the open string, so there's no fret being played in those cases. Guitar tab works a little differently. Uh, there are six strings on a guitar, whereas a banjo has five, so there are six lines similar to the lute tablature. Uh, the bottom line is the low E string, and the, uh, the top line is the high E string. The numbers, in, similar to the other forms of tablature, show you where to place your fingers, but there are some additional uh, articulations that are typically shown on guitar tablature. For, for example, uh, slur lines, lines connecting two numbers. Two numbers slurred together on the bottom often indicate hammer-ons. If it's flipped upside down and the slur is on top, that might indicate a pull-off. And slides are usually indicated by a straight line. And there are different forms of tablature. Sometimes uh, people use the easiest possible uh, keyboard characters to show tablature. So sometimes you'll see uh, four, P, five, indicating you know, a pull-off or an H for hammer-on, something very simple if they don't have a, a graphical representation. Sometimes arrows and lines indicate where you want to bend a note. There are all kinds of variations in the types of articulations in tablature. Uh, they're pretty self-explanatory and intuitive. Uh, sometimes you might have to ask a specific uh, person who created that example uh, what they meant by a particular type of notation. But usually there, you, you can figure them out. Sometimes guitar tablature shows finger picking and specific rhythms. And sometimes uh, uh, they're only shown in chord charts above uh, a, a vocal line or above a, a piano, uh, piano score. Those are chord charts. Uh, those don't indicate any kind of rhythm or any kind of finger picking. Those can be uh, picked or strummed or played in any rhythm uh, accompanying the singer or along with 
other instrumentalists. Often accompanying chord charts are what are called chord symbols. So next to a chord chart, you might see C, M, 7. Sometimes the M is uppercase, sometimes it's lowercase. Or just A with a lowercase M next to it. Those are the names of the chords. That would be C, let's say, major 7th or minor 7th, or A minor. So for more on chord symbols and how to name chords, see the section on chord symbol notation.